Who are you? My name is Snoop Dogg. West Coast hip hop, um, gangster rapper, actor, father, football coach, philanthropist. The best of all time. Believe it. That's what usually you say in the seven other interviews that we've done. Seven plus one. This is the eighth interview. It's the eighth wonder of the world, man. Anytime you can do eight interviews with Noir Ward, you must say that this is the eighth wonder of the world. A pa boom. Bam, bam. And right off the bat, Snoop, to celebrate our time together, we have a little gift for you right here, an Ike and Tina Turner poster. Oh, man, this is going to the uh, to the wall of game at my studio ASAP. I'm going to put a frame around it, and I'm going to let everybody know where I got it from. You know, I was curious, Ike Turner, did he at one time want to do a collab with you? Yes, I kept his voice message on my phone for about eight months after he passed away. Um, he called me and wanted me to come down and get on a record with him, so that was in effect. Now, Snoop, I was also curious about this record right here. Sheep, doggy dog, the female answer to? Snoop, doggy dog. What can you say about sheep, doggy dog? <laughs> I never heard about it. This is the first time. This is uh, news to my ears. and. I'm anxious to hear what it sounds like. Sheep, doggy, dog, give a dog a bone. The female answer to Snoop, doggy, dog. Oh, my God. Novelty. Her butt. <laughs> exactly, because this is a closer look of sheep. Sheep, doggy, dog. There, Snoop, dog. Sheep, doggy, dog. She had a cassette? She had a whole album. The female answer to Snoop, doggy, dog. I never heard of this. And you are Snoop Doggy. Dog. And meet Sheep Doggy. Dog. Dog. And I was curious about novelty rap, the waistline connection, and chow down. <laughs> are you serious? This is a real record that came out? Created by your friend Big Boy. Oh, chow down. Chow down. When we come to your town, shout out. I remember, I remember this record right here. Big Boy did do that. He was tight. The waistline connection. Yeah, the waistline connection. He got his waistline together. Me and him wear the same size pants now. Baboom. Well, actually, kind of baboom. But here we have another novelty rap, Chunky A. Oh, this is uh, Arsenio Hall's alter ego. Chunky A, you know, the rapper, he had a record out where he had an alter ego and uh, he was large and in charge. And you were on the show quite a bit, Snoop, and check out the back. Is that what it was like looking at Arsenio's butt? I wouldn't know, man. I don't, I don't, you can have this album. I don't, I don't want this album. This is this one album that I'm going to give back to you. I usually steal from you. I don't want this shit. You can have that one. Well, actually, right here, we have a record that you do care about, The Roaches. Oh, wow. Bobby, Jimmy, and the Critters? Look at all these roaches surrounding me every day. I just need some time, some time to spray away. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, this was Russ Parr. This is Russ Parr. What can you say about roaches? I grew up with roaches. Um, shout out to all the roaches I left behind when I got money. It is a hard life. You know, I wish I could have brought y'all with me, but they didn't accept y'all in the neighborhood I moved to. And one of the people in the critters was the Arabian Prince. He was off the hook. Arabian Prince was one of the original West Coast pioneers of, you know, hip hop music. He and here we are at the Smokers Bowl. Shout out to the Smokers Bowl. Shout out to the Smokers Ball 2016 or the Smokers Bowl while you hold these Smokers Balls in your jaws. And I have a gift for you right now, Snoop Doggy Dog. A High Times from 1976. Speaking of the Smokers Bowl. Oh, wow. 1976 Smokers Bowl. This is a, a great tribute to, I guess this is, what is it, 41 years of... Um, Excellence, I'm honored to receive this magazine on behalf of High Times and the Smokers Bowl 2016. Thank you. They made you as Stoner of the Year. 
In 1975? No, I, I think I'm about in 2002. You are still in the off the year. Yeah, two. Actually, I won it back to back, 2002 and 2003. I was one of the first, you know, to ever go back to back with the Stoner of the Year. I'm very proud of that award right there. I had Ice-T and uh, George Clinton and Bishop Magic Wine there when I received it for the second year in a row. Snoop Doggy Dog, I would like to ask you about Jazzy D, a whack girl. Yeah, this was on uh, Techno Hop Records, a whack girl. Tony G mixed this, a mix master. This is Julio G's brother, Tony G, from the original mix master from KDAY. So this is OG right here. You definitely not getting that back. I Actually, I'm not sure about that one, Snoop Doggy Dog. No, that was going with me. That's old school. I've been trying to find a copy of that that label right there because we was I'm doing a documentary based on West Coast hip hop and I need that for the uh, documentary. That is unknown. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, DJ. DJ Unknown. That's my homeboy. I work with Unknown. He used to do comedy. Can you get one from him? No, nah, I can't. I'm getting it from you. Thank you. And this is uh, Bloods and Crips, Steady Dipping. I think Battle Cat produced this right here. What can I say about Bloods and Crips, this LP? Banging on wax. This was uh, it's when we tried to put some peace in the community before the riots, when uh, they made a record where they was dissing each other, but at the same time, it was a record bringing both sides together. DJ Battle Cat, yep, I told you. He was the one who produced the whole record. And winding up here, Snoop Dogg Dog, I wanted to ask you about this particular gentleman right here, Arnold. Swartz nigga. I don't like this punk right here. Uh, turn it over. You're really going to like the back. Look how this motherfucker dressed for his album cover. Look at this soft ass shit. Look at this. How the fuck you dress like this for your album cover? This is some bullshit. Squirrel on snake. Squirrel versus snake. Total body workout. I'm taking this back in the house and making a mockery of this shit. I thought you hated him. I do, but I gotta you make You can't take that one. Yeah, I need that. I gotta make a mockery of him. Snoop Dogg Dogg, I would like to ask you, what exactly is the hip-hop mustache and beard? Look at my shit. See? Look. <laughs> you see? But the thing is, I cut the biz out of them out. Because I want the bottom out. You know what I'm saying? So I can have the top. Some of y'all got the top out. Like, if I take your hat off, I know you got the top out right now. Well, I'm surprised you haven't thought of this already. I, well, I just thought of this. This is mustache and beard. Mustache eat by the bee. What country did you get this shit from? Canada. Duh. Must be. Must be. Kid, we're going gonna, we're gonna to redo these. I like this. It's all right. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Well, okay. Well, actually, just winding up here, Snoop Dogg Dogg, I wanted to ask you about these gentlemen right here, Kobe Bryant. This motherfucker went and got Kobe Bryant's album featuring Tyra Banks. <laughs> this is bullshit at its finest. What can you say about Kobe, his last game, Tyra Banks, Kobe's rap career? Uh, we're going to leave those two worlds separate. His basketball career was phenomenal. His last game was exceptional. Uh, I'm a big Kobe Bryant basketball fan. Did you ever see him rap? I'm a big Kobe Bryant basketball fan. <laughs> and right underneath that we have... Shaquille O'Neal, You Can't Stop the Rain. I like this song right here. You can't stop the rain. Shaq, now Shaq was hard as a rapper. Yeah, he said like about ass to Kobe. What was that about? <laughs> you would have to ask him. He was pretty cool though. He did stuff with Biggie. Yeah, he was dope. Shaq was a dope rapper. I got a song with Shaq. Amazing. And right underneath it, B-Ball's best kept secret. The Kid. Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd was on there rapping. Cedric Sabalos featuring Warren G. <laughs> J.R. Ryder, Funk in the Trunk. Dennis Scott, All Night Party. Gary Payton, Living Legal and Large. Dana Barrows and Cedric Oh my God, this album right here is going home with me. I'm going to laugh. I'm not sure that it's like all oh, basketball rapper. No, but I need to laugh. I need to laugh. Anything you'd like to add to the people out there, Snoop Doggy Dog? Um... Nah, <laughs> I'm just here, man. I'm having a good time. Happy to be in uh, Vancouver again. It's always love every time I come here since day one. Um, I love coming over here. I love the way that people treat me. I just don't, I don't understand the fucking customs people. Like, why the fuck do they always sweat us over here? Like, if some of you people in here work at customs, could y'all find a way for them to leave me the fuck alone and just let me in here 
peacefully because once I get in, it's always beautiful. But until I get in, it's always a problem. And they always searching me. They never find nothing because I usually have it as soon as I land. Like it's waiting on me outside of the airport. So stop fucking harassing me and go clean up that nasty ass alley where y'all passing out needles and shit. You did make it though. You made it. I always make it. And why should people care about Snoop Doggy Dog? Why should people care? Uh, I don't know. Just because, you know, just because caring is loving and loving is caring. Well, thanks so much, Snoop Doggy. Dog. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do. Narwar, one day they're gonna put you on a real TV network. You deserve it. Every time I do an interview with a motherfucker, be like, well, what network is the motherfucker with? The nigga's on his own network. Well, what time he come on? Shit, whenever he want to. Well, what channel is he on? I don't even know. Like, the motherfucker don't have a channel, listings, nothing. Coming up this week on the Narwar show. Who?